Before I get into this video, I want to make something very clear to all my fans and viewers, new and old. This video is going to be the last Webtoon related video you will ever see on this channel. All of my new Webtoon related videos will be uploaded onto my secondary channel, Jack vs. Webtoon. Keep in mind that the reason why I'm doing this is not because of the dilemma that I'm going to discuss in this vid, it's because I just want to categorize my content better so YouTube's algorithm has a better idea of what to do with me. Please spread the word in the comment section if anyone asks about this, because I know people are going to miss this. Also, this video will barely have any images in this because I need to be careful because it's very likely that these butthurt kids will try to find some excuse to false copyright strike this video in a desperate attempt to silence me once again. Anyway, let's begin. And good god, I don't even know where to begin. Um, uh, oh, you know what, L let's just take it from the top, like, like from the very beginning, boys. Okay, so... Webtoon is an online webcomic posting platform, and on that platform there is a subcatalog of user-created content called Webtoon Canvas. Webtoon Canvas is a place where anybody can upload their comics as long as it falls under the rules and uploading policies that the platform enforces. And guess what? There are many Webtoons on Canvas that do very blatantly and very boldly break the rules because, well... Webtoon Canvas is a very poorly moderated platform. And this is the part where my channel comes in. Over time, I eventually started doing Webtoon read-throughs. Videos where me, and usually also my pals online, will provide our gut reactions to reading bad Webtoons. Sometimes they're bad in terms of writing, sometimes they're bad in terms of artistic quality, and most of the time they're bad because they are glamorizing and romanticizing very problematic behaviors. These videos only serve for for the sake of criticism and entertainment. And after a while, I saw more comics that blatantly broke the rules. At first, I just laughed at it because I saw that it was just a perfect testament to how pathetically poorly moderated Webtoon's entire platform is as a whole. But after a while, I realized that a lot of my fans and friends were also artists on Webtoon Canvas. And then something clicked in my head. Actual artists who are trying to produce interesting, creative, and thought-provoking webcomics are actively being shunned and shafted because cheaters who knowingly post sexually gratifying content and also know for a fact that they can get away with it because nobody moderates Webtoon Canvas properly are the only ones getting any form of attention because of Webtoon's terrible algorithmic system, similar to YouTube. So, while my Webtoon read-throughs originally served to simply entertain my fans as well as teach them what not to do as comic artists, after a while I took it upon myself to do these read-throughs on these Webtoons in order to get them taken down. Not every single Webtoon that I deem bad, but simply the ones that did blatantly break the rules. And guess what? It was actually a relatively successful endeavor. I actually got like five webtoons taken down before this dilemma happened. Oh, and also, people practically fell in love with me for doing this because I'm trying to help these individual artists make their own platform, their only place where they can actually get attention with their work, a more pure and clean place. And thusly, here we are in present day. So yeah, here's what happened. Last month, me and my pals all did several webtoon read-throughs, all of which were webtoons that were blatantly breaking the rules for sexually gratifying content. Obviously, you cannot post such nonsense on Webtoon Canvas. My cellmate is a romance, quote-unquote, webtoon that romanticizes prison inmate sexual assault. The King and the Paladin is a webtoon that is literally just a medieval fantasy porn plot where a tyrannical woman violates a guy. Th that's it. That's literally the story. I Hate You, Will You Have Sex With Me is a webtoon that... Uh, I mean, do, do I even need to say anything on that one? And also, there's Heart of Eternity, which once again is a glorified porn plot, only this time it features pseudo-incest. Yes, I am dead serious. All of these webtoons blatantly and brazenly break the rules of being on the platform, and nobody on the website or app support seems to... Care? And keep in mind, the people who make these webtoons are not stupid. They know for a fact that their webtoon will naturally receive more attention on webtoons since it's a 
completely SFW platform full of hormone enraged minors. All of these artists and creators of these pieces of crap could just go to an actual porn artwork website like Hentai Foundry and then just post this garbage. But they never will because they know that Webtoon is the only place where their garbage can hold water. This is all a part of their little scheme is what I'm trying to get at. So I took it upon myself to make videos about all of these Webtoons that were made by people who know what the hell they're doing. And guess what? What was the result? Well, what happened is that every single one of those Webtoon artists and then some that I made a video about where I covered all of their garbage porn comics all came together like the <laughs> like the fucking Avengers and tried to take my channel down. And then straight up, they tried doing other malicious shit on my channel and email address as well. The culprits responsible for this nonsense are... I'm just Gally, the creator of I Hate You, Will You Have Sex With Me. Glass Vial BLGL, the creator of that prison bitch webtoon that I mentioned. Puck it, Puh, God, these names are stupid. The creator of Heart of Eternity, the, the pseudo incest one. And then we also have Ji Yoon Park, the creator of The King and the Paladin. All of these individuals are active creators on Webtoon and have all labeled themselves as victims of bullying in the same breath of taking their butt hurt out on me in these most malicious ways possible. So, let me show you what happens when a bunch of mentally fucked, fragile art girls have zero ability to take any form of criticism. September 1st of this year in 2023, I wake up first thing in the morning and I see that I have a false copyright strike over the prison bitch Webtoon. I laugh my ass off at it and then I try to tell my fans. To which all of my fans do the exact same thing and laugh their asses off in unison. I decide to quickly make a 60 second video of me publicizing this knowledge to make sure everyone is aware about the false copyright strike. And guess what? That video was also immediately taken down, not even 24 hours after it was uploaded. It's very clear that these people have sick their fans on me to constantly monitor my channel to make sure I don't dare say anything about their precious porn comics. And if you don't believe me that these idiots sick their fans on me, check this part out. I swear to God I'm not making this up, this actually happened. The very next day after this, I see my phone blowing up for like 30 minutes straight because my public business email you can find on my YouTube channel was constantly ringing. Why you ask? Because of fucking Pornhub notifications. I swear to God this really happened. Literally, I, I received over 100 Pornhub notifications telling me to activate my account. But yeah, that happened. And it doesn't stop there. There was also emails from other basic bitch porn websites, Live Jasmine, X videos. Uh, apparently someone also tried to make a fur affinity account in, in desperate attempts to impersonate me. That That's what it looks like anyway. But yeah, this shit actually happened. And... Like, wow, you definitely got me, bro. Good job. You you totally got me. It's not like I can't just turn off email notifications on my phone or something like that. Fucking idiots. Anyway, I, ori original, I originally thought that this was all just one butthurt artist spurging the hell out and sicking her fan base of special ed kids on me. Until the next day afterwards, I received the false copyright strike from a totally different webtoon. This one being for something I actually reviewed months ago, The King and the Paladin. And then after that, maybe a few days later, I receive a third false copyright strike for the I hate you to have sex with me one, whatever. So yeah, common sense would immediately indicate that it's obviously no coincidence that I would receive this much flack and malicious activity delivered to my account in the email for no reason. So obviously this is some kind of <laughs> some kind of coordinated strike, a coordinated attack from a bunch of mentally underdeveloped introverts who can't tolerate their precious porn comics being talked down to and criticized. But yes, obviously the big idea was to throw three false copyright strikes on my channel and get my channel taken down. And yeah, I did receive three copyright strikes, so bye-bye to my channel, right guys? Wrong. Because that's not how YouTube works. These dumb fucks obviously didn't realize that. If you are a part of YouTube's AdSense program, i.e. you work for YouTube, your channel can never get terminated for these reasons unless you never submitted counter copyright claims. Obviously, I counterclaimed as soon as I saw these false claims. The only thing these idiots really did was just stop me from making money and keeping a roof over my head for about a month. I never made that much money off of YouTube to begin with, but yeah, I only made like a hundred fucking dollars this month. This is why I only, this is why I'm trying to rely on Patreon. So, 
Yeah, I'll, I'll give them that. They did successfully destroy my paycheck for a month out of sheer butthurt. Guys, 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 seriously, what, what these motherfuckers did to me, it's fucking criminal. It is actually criminal, dude. And yeah, that's basically everything that happened. I, I, the videos have been reinstated, like, pretty much... All of the videos have been pretty much reinstated as of the time of today. But regardless, the fact that this even happened to me, the fact that I straight up lost, like, $1,000 and I need to fucking, like, find out how the hell I'm gonna pay rent this month. These... That is act... Like, this shit is criminal, is what I'm trying to say, bro. Like, that's all I'm trying to get at. <sighs> these motherfuckers are... F these people are fucked up in the head, dude. And I'm not just saying that as, like, a cheap insult. I like, like, I'm dead ass, boys. For real. Like, I'm gonna ask you a question. Have any of you people watching this video, have any of you people seen normally functioning human beings advertise porn to minors? Have, ev have any of you, ha have you ever seen a normal person weaponize copyright systems to, to silence people? Have any, have you ever seen a normal person try to blow up somebody's email with over 100 porn notifications? Ha, have you ever seen a normal person do any of these things, is my question. These people are fucking loons, bro. But you know what? That's all perfectly fine. It's, it's perfectly fine. Because you know what? The Streisand effect is going to hit like a goddamn truck here. I'm telling you this right now. YouTube may have a cancerous user base, but if there is anything that YouTube as an entire viewer base all hate, it's a goddamn copyright abuser. Multiple copyright abusers at that. But hey, uh, good job, you fucking fat-ass Fujoshi bitches. You're the biggest accomplishment of your miserable-ass lives is advertising the miners, performing a mass cyber attack on someone's YouTube channel, and then performing mental gymnastics in order to convince yourselves that you're the victim. Uh, and yeah, on that part about the delusions of victimhood, keep in mind, the people who did this, they have received zero consequences as of yet for these actions. They are still happily advertising and posting porn on a goddamn SFW website like it's nobody's business. And as the icing on the cake, these motherfuckers, I've been reading their stupid ass messages, messages, these motherfuckers actually think they're the victim. They think that they are the victim. After blatant cyber harassment, taking advantage of the DMCA system, and blowing up my fucking email with porn notifications, you fucking freaks, these motherfuckers have managed to convince themselves that they are the victim here. They are the people who have been wrong. Like, I'm telling you, these people are fucked up in the head. Seriously, I've been reading Reddit threads about other webtoon artists being copyright abusers, and I've seen so much shit and gone through so much BS with this nonsense. How come no one's making, like, these stupid little Reddit threads about my ass? Because this is the second time I've had to deal with this shit. Okay, so, to wrap up this video, I want to say that while I do sound like I've, my temper is completely lost, I'm actually not... 100% angry at these webtoon artists for doing this. I'm actually moreover upset at YouTube and webtoon for being so easy to take advantage of. Like, boys, look, uh, this was eventually going to happen, in my opinion. I, I was eventually going to attract the ire of some mentally unstable, like, dysfunctional webtoon artist and that would be ass hurt beyond belief. Like, in, in my opinion, I, was, I saw this coming a mile away. It was only a matter of time. But at the end of the day, it's YouTube's fault for being so easy to take advantage of, and Webtoon's fault for being so poorly supervised. So yeah, fuck these two platforms. They're, they're lucky as hell they're the only game in town, I swear to god. So, yeah, that's all there is to it, boys. Th that's the end of this shit show, I just wanted to tell you everything that happened. I really think that, uh, I, I really think that people should be spreading the word that fucking copyright abusers on webtoons should not be freely able to, you know, shit on people just because they aren't kissing their ass every five and a half seconds. And, um, other than that, yeah, that's it. That's all there is to it, boys. And, and again, uh, I would humbly ask you guys to subscribe to my new YouTube channel, Jack vs. Webtoon, for the rest of your webtoon-related content. Uh, this web, this, uh, YouTube channel is just gonna be for other stuff, like comics and TV shows and animation and etc. My usual stuff, just no, no more webtoon shit, you know what I mean? I think I'm eventually gonna, uh, delete the webtoon videos on this channel and re-upload them over there if it's really successful. And, uh, furthermore... 
just as a little just as a little um, thing to keep you interested and wanting to subscribe to that channel, I'm actually going to be doing a multi-part review series, Lore Olympus Sucks, on that channel next month. So yeah, get excited for that. Other than that, after all this nonsense, ugh, this is Blacklight Jack signing out. Have a good one, boys. No Patreon roll call right now because I don't think I need to explain why. I'll see you guys later.